Well, let's see how much wind noise impacts in this location. I'm hoping, right? Anyways, hi. Um, I sat about 10 minutes over my other spot and the uh, wind and the neighbor mowing his lawn just didn't really let up. And uh, that gets frustrating. And frustrated me doesn't do quite so well, you know, talking about beer. <laughs> so, hey, this is me. And today I'm going to be drinking a gift from Evan. This is Ale Song's Valley Preserve. So Evan, you finally get the, uh, the thoughts you wanted to get. This is a sour ale aged in French oak barrels with blueberries and cherries. This one's a bit more complicated to open. It's got foil on it, or plastic something. Oh, smells good. Smells tart. Oh yeah, smells quite tart. But fruity, a very vibrant tartness. So this is an ode to the bounty of the Willamette Valley Harvest. Valley Preserves is a refreshing and jammy ale aged on biodynamically grown blueberries from our neighbors at King Estate and Oregon Cherries from Hood River. Luscious fruit character explodes from this vibrant magenta-hued beer and is balanced against a firm oak-induced tannin structure and a crisp dry finish. So uh, Ale Song does a lot of um, barrel aging, a lot of oak barrel aging, as I recall. Several of the beers, several of their beers that I have drunk have been oak barrels, including several French oak barrels. They tend to be quite tart, uh, very fruited sour beer. As these are actually aged on the fruit themselves rather than simply an extract being um, added. I'm expecting the fruit to be more natural than some other fruited sours. So I'm definitely picking up the blueberry. Definitely picking up the blueberry. And yeah, the tannins, like you, you feel an almost, almost a, a, a burn, um, a sharp acidic burn uh, up higher in your nostrils in your your nasal passage not not an unpleasant one it speaks to the the flavors you're going to get but there is an intensity to it if you're a fan of complex and powerful fruited sours you're probably familiar with ale song you're familiar with that that type of tartness hmm Definitely jammy. You, you get your, your nose really in there, and there's an intensity to the fruit that speaks to it having been stewed into this thick, concentrated jam, which you want to spread on, on a really nice piece of bread. <laughs> so they weren't lying about that. I'm not sure I'm picking up cherry per se. More of a, almost a mixed berry jam. Uh, with a dominant um, blueberry, but not only blueberry. Hmm, smells good. Smells good. Let's uh, dive in and see how it tastes. Yes, tart, but tart, but. So tart butt. Um, the the tartness is there. It's a it's an ascorbic acid. It's a it's a vitamin C tartness. If you're familiar with, you know, vitamin C, sometimes people use it for descaling their uh, their coffee maker. It's also a common food additive. It's a necessary vitamin. Um, a lot of naturopaths will use it for. Um, for a, you know, a immune system booster, it's it's tart, right? But it has a particular tartness to it. And if you're familiar with ascorbic acid, you'll be familiar with this tartness. 
Um, but underlying that tartness is this jammy berry character, which is quite nice. Once again, I'm not really picking up cherries per se. I'm guessing these cherries are probably quite ripe and so quite sweet themselves. And so they're just contributing a berry sweetness to the, the overall fruit character of the beer rather than a distinctly cherry, which might be more evident when the fruit is maybe a little, little tartar. And I'm pretty sure I can pick up the barrel in here too. I think for me personally, with these AL songs, aging them is a bad idea. They're, they have already been aged in the barreling process. They've already picked up a lot of tartness. And frankly, the, the sugars that are in there at bottling are necessary, are good. Good to have been in there. Because that's the point where you have something to balance the tartness out. It's still a tart fruited sour. And this is a sour in every sense of the word. But... Because it still has that little bit of residual sweetness that, that gives you that jammy character, that's good. Um, I believe uh, Evan purchased this from Northwest Beer Works. And so it, I know it's been cared for far better than if it were, say, left at, you know, storeroom temperature on the shelves at a, at a mass retailer, some of the other places you can find these. Um, so I'm pretty sure this has been, been stored in a way helpful to its development. It is a 2023 vintage, and um, yeah, so so I'm guessing this has not had a whole lot of time to actually like dry out, and and I appreciate that fact in this. Um, sometimes the the sours they can be just bracing and punching, and and there's nothing to nothing to hold on to that balances it or gives you any sort of um, break from that tartness, but this has that really nice jammy fruit character in there that that works very nicely. And because of the level of tartness, it also has this mouth-watering character. That's one thing about the ascorbic acid, is that the tartness it gives, it makes your mouth water. Um, it's uh, vinegars, some vinegars, some, some you know, food vinegars are, are like that, where they, they kind of dry your mouth out and then you get this nice gush of, um, of uh, saliva and it's like it's prepping you to enjoy something else. And you have that similar kind of effect here. That's nice. Um, I would probably drink this warmer rather than colder because that's going to allow the sweetness once again to stand up even more. And in fact, the tartness might even be further tamped as it approaches room temperature. So I'm probably going to enjoy the rest of this over the course of this afternoon. And I would imagine that as it flattens, for the lack of a better word, um, it will the, the balance will tilt even more in favor of the sweetness with, this, with these uh, fruit notes. Um, <laughs> I probably should have noted... Uh, how many different bugs are going to be very much interested in what it is that's going on here. So uh, let's put that cat back on there. <laughs> hmm. It's a good beer, especially here in the Northwest. It's a very recognizable set of summer aromas and odors. Berries are just really the thing around here. And, and these are, these are berries from the area. So the Willamette Valley is down in Oregon, and I'm uh, 100 miles north of there or so, 120 miles. I'm not sure exactly how far up Oregon the Willamette Valley comes, but a couple hour drive, three hour drive. I'll buzz off. <laughs> Anyways, before I attract any more of these uh, things, I'm going to call it a session. This is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and enjoying... Valley Preserves by Ale Song Brewing, a sour ale aged in French oak barrels with blueberries and cherries. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>